Hey, well, hello again, fans of Bob's Barn Workshop. It has been a few weeks since I did a, a video. It's been, uh, I've been busy. I've been back and forth doing uh, preparation for fall at the lake, and I've been to Nashville for half a week, and been traveling around. I just haven't had time to get to anything, but I had got a little present in the mail the other day. Hey, you all are familiar with this uh, old Chevy Astro van, if, if you watch my videos at all. And I have a lot of trailers, and this one doesn't have a trailer hitch. Sometimes the wife's got the car, and I thought, well, I ought to throw one on here. Well, I searched on eBay, and I found this Magnus brand one. It was the cheapest one I could find that would fit. And let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, I already popped the staples. It weighs a ton and a half. Very, very heavy duty looking. The welds look very, very good. And it's very well packaged. Um, I'm going to go get a tripod. Well, somehow, I can't find the tripod anywhere in the house or the barn. So we'll just open this up. Like so. There we go. Heavy, I'll tell you that. They taped it up really well. I'm going to try to cut the tape off and not cut into the finish. I don't want to ruin that. Let's get a scratch in it and I'll cut some rust. I think it's probably powder coated. like the uh, mounting plates that go to the, between the frame and the cross member here is really a rug. Got a nice little cover on it. These days in saran wrap, but it works. It seems to. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the cross drawbar. Look at the thickness of the plates. They are thicker than quarter inch. They're almost three eighths. Okay, so on the bottom of the van, there's two bolts for the bumper, and then there's two unused holes. I'm not sure if that goes on that side or in this side. I've got to actually do some measuring to make sure I get my sides correct. I don't want to get it partially assembled and find out I haven't got it lined up right with the cross member. All right. Maybe there's an instruction sheet. It tells me so. Yeah, this was 108 bucks for an Astro. I thought that was a lot better price than a lot of them I saw. But well, look at this thing. I mean, the welds look really deep and good. Yeah. Not a bad looking assembly. I'll tell you one thing, though. If you're going to cap these, pack these, smear them inside all with grease, because if you pull it out next year, this thing will get so swollen full of grease, or full of rust, that you can't even uh, get your receiver in there, your uh, drawbar assembly. Let's see if we got any destructions. Okay, the flanges do go out, according to the drawing I'm looking at. So the one on the passenger side will go with the flange out that way. So it's as narrow as possible, in other words, because there's a left and a right. My problem is trying to see if I can get the dang thing uh, to get the bolts out, because you know this is a rusty mess. And 
I'm not sure if it slides up under the bumper bracket. Because this is straight. So that's got to go under the bumper bracket, I think. Oh, maybe, though. I'll have to get under there and see. They give you a weld nut cleaning. Remove debris from the weld nuts in the frame. Yeah, there is weld nuts already in the frame forward of the bumper bolts for these two forward ones. But uh, the Patriot van is uh, 12 years old. Okay, these are 10 by 1.5s, which is good because I have a 10 by 1.5 cap. And I can run that tap up into those holes to try to clean them out. But really, the biggest effort right now I have to make... Let's see, they've given me a boatload of... These are the bolts. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. What's that big one for? Give me two extra bolts. I might end up just welding the dang thing on there. You know? I think you have to reuse your original bumper bolts. Because my frame rails are solid. You can't get inside of them, I don't think. All right, well... The worst thing is, oh, there's the fish wire. You shove that up and out, and you put a nut on it, and you pull it down with that. Well, that, that, that there works. There's two of those big dudes. There's two number 10s. There should be eight of these. Two, four, six, eight of the carriage bolts. Sorry I'm off camera a little bit. I don't know what these little tabs are for. Maybe reinforcements. I don't know, it might be a pain, but we're going to try it. We're going to take a look. We might not get this all done in this shot. All right. Let me get my math, though. Thank goodness for the yoga mat. Mr. Yoga Mat. I don't have to lay on hard concrete. I'm going to take you in with me and we can take a look at this. Get a bit. Come on. We'll stop for All right. a might be hard to see. I hope this auto brightens enough to see this. But you can see these. I'm going to beat the hell out of this crust and get it off. I've got to take these bolts out. And I need to slip the bracket flange in under there. Now let me turn your right side up here. Yeah, the frame seems pretty solid. That's where the torque boxes are. There's welded nut plates up in here. So like I said, I think if I run my number 10 tap up in there, I should be able to clean that out. I did spray the crap out of this with uh, penetrating oil last week. Try to get these to start soaking. Those look like 17s or 18s. I think I'm just going to put a breaker bar on them. I think maybe I'll lower the spare tire down and see if uh, man I don't know what they did to this van to get it so crusty I think they must have parked it where there was uh, grass underneath it all the time and you got that humidity up under the van all the time because the rest of the van ain't bad just underneath here it's really crusty sad really okay so I'm gonna shut you off for a while and uh, I'm going to put a jack under the axle and raise this up just a little bit, raise the frame up a little bit. I guess I really don't need to, but I'm going to take the spare out so i got elbow room for the ratchet wrench. Well, without anything uh, 
to hold the camera with, but there's one bolt here that holds the back of the bumper bracket up. We've got to drop the bumper back bracket down so that the plates can slide in under here. And these bolts all broke easily. I mean, really easy. So they came right out. I just got to run some number 10 uh, a tap up in there to make sure that's going to be the right uh, cleaned out enough. And I guess I'll just, it doesn't look like they gave me enough of those bolts though. They only gave me two more. They only gave me those great big ones. So let's see what the instructions look like again. <sighs> says the factory bolts. An existing weld nut. Oh, it doesn't even show using the uh, second hole. So I, I'm going to get a couple extra bolts for those second holes. But there's the, the bolt in the back of the bracket and there's the two uh, bumper brackets. And I got all those loose. So it looks like she's going to go on folks. It looks like she's going on. I just got to pull all those bolts out. There's, a, there's uh, brackets on the bumper on each end. So it's going to drop a little bit. But uh, I think we'll be good. I think we can squeeze her in there. As I said, look at the thickness of those things. What do you think? Five sixteenths at least? Cool. I'm going to put them up there loose and then I'm going to put the drawbar in so that I can uh, tighten those up tight. And uh, maybe a different episode. I, I probably don't have time on this one to uh, show you how to hook up the harness. But luckily in this van, the turn signal harness is right here ready for the uh, plug to be put on the end of it so I just got to go over I don't I've, I've got a new thing for my trailer I don't have the plug in for the car but I got to do that there alrighty so I'm gonna chill for a minute here and we'll figure out I'll see if we can get those bolts run out so it's actually kind of dark guys but I was able to get that bracket slipped up under that bumper you just gotta loosen this back bolt up so you can drop it down enough to kind of punch it in there and I see why they only give me the front bolt because the front hole is the only one that lines up with the front of the frame here there is no bolt back here I guess I could drill a hole and do something but I got to put a plate up in here and then put my bolt in that might be a spacer for the frame uh, those square plates because it extends out here but it doesn't quite Hit on that right. There's, there's nothing here. It, this is the last hole it hits, not that one. So it gives these two bolts and that one. All right. All right. So I got one half in. I shouldn't have tightened it up. I guess I did. I'll, uh, because I got to be able to raise this up in and then put the bolts in and tighten them up. I'll, probably, I'll have to put Loctite on them. This side's being a little bit more difficult over here because this bracket is good. The one on the other side is rusted out, so that gave me uh, slack. Yeah, I know, it's a rust bucket. It's an old rust bucket. But it, it'll last. It'll, it'll be good for what I want to do with it. Carry band stuff. Maybe tow something if I need to. Um, that part of the frame looks good and solid. I just got to go get that 10 millimeter and see if I can run that up in there. All right, now what I've been trying to do, I got the other one tapped. I'm trying to tap these holes right here, tap them out with, I'll put a little lubricant up in there. I got the other side pretty good. Put a little bit on the, on the tap. I can't find a tap wrench big enough to hold it either, so I got them caught up in my vice grips here. Alright, 
I'm cleaning those threads out. Oh, see, I told you. All right, well, you can see what I'm doing on this. And, uh, and it looks like there's some meat left on those threads. They're now totally gone. She goes right up in there. I might be able to fit a nut up in here by hand. There's another plate. I do have a little rust hole in my frame right back here. But it's just that section. This is tied into the rest of it. Most of the strings going to come right here. I'm not going to pull horses or anything with this anyway. Just a little utility trailer. Alright. Those bolts look perfect in there though. That's what's good. That's the solid part. All right, so we got those tapped. We're going to leave this go till tomorrow because uh, it's getting dark. I need to go over. I think I just don't like the length of these bolts after they go through that 3 8 metal and into here. Let me see what it looks like. I mean, I guess they go into it far enough. They only go in that many turns before they're in. I'd rather have these things that much longer, you know, a half inch longer. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. i got to go over to Central Tractor and get some grade 8 bolts and some big washers. So we will pick this up tomorrow. All right, well, here we are, day two. Got my bag of bolts that I had to buy. Let's see if this is unlocked. She is not. Um, I'll get this set up. I actually found a small tripod, and I found the big tripod, but I need the small one because all the work's underneath. Let's get All started. Right, we're under, we're under, we're under. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got you on the small tripod again. Uh, we're gonna weasel this guy up under here again. I'm gonna move you back a little bit. This is the perfect angle. It is what it is. Now you can see. All that's left holding on this side, that bolt is brackets rusted out, which lets this bumper drop. Which gives me room to get that in there. And I went to fasten all to find some really nice hardened bolts. And I got some grade 8 washers. And that ought to get me money ahead, basically, as they say. It's horrible. At least there's no rust up in between the brackets. So, here we go again. I got that guy up in there. Yeah, oh, sorry, you gotta look at my head. make sure that these bolts that I bought, they only got to go through the nut, right? They don't have to go through any farther than just catching the nut, you know? So, I uh, really wish this tire thing wasn't hitting me in the head. So much crap falling off the bottom of this old van, oh my goodness. It's not fun. Alright, I'm trying to wear my hat. <laughs> I'm first going to test fit these really strong bolts and then everything looks like it's got plenty of thread. Oh yeah, that's got plenty of thread now. I am going to put thread locker on these and um, and them, and them. Ease them up in a little bit just to get them started. 
sorry guys, I know, hey, I hope you don't mind a long video. I don't have time to stop and start and stop and start. Oh shoot, that's a bigger knot too. Okay, I gotta find it. my other wrench socket. So, I'll try to get you up in there. How's that, a little better? I'm gonna put some blue on this because that's what I got. It's better than none. All right, right. Put a little bit of that goo on there. And I will get it started. There's one. So I'm putting these up loose so I can get the crossbar in. Of course. This is the hardest one because it's kind of tucked up in there, but I can get it. I don't want it to fall on my head. I might as well put... One long one in here. I got five of these bolts in the package, so the other side I'm gonna have to use a different kind. But it's all right. These are the threads I cleaned out yesterday. Okay, there's one down. Let's move it over to here. Hoping you can see a little bit. I got this guy to do it last night. Shred out from under there. Lots of crud. I loosened up the bolts on that far bracket. So uh, over here in the corner, so that I can get this SOB in there. Somehow, you gotta get that screwdriver up in there. I'm hoping I'm catching this on camera. We try to do our best. <laughs> Get the hard one first. How's that sound? <sighs> it came out, so they gotta go in, right? Yeah. 
trying the next hard one. What that washer go? Oh, there he is. I got some grade eight washers too. These are English washers, but they're the right size for the M10s. Uh, a little Loctite bit there. Feels like she's getting tight. Got my beast of a ratchet here. back one I'm going to use the, actually I could recycle one of the good bolts, one of the factory bolts here, because I'm sure that'll have plenty of throw. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Where's my, lo where's my lost washer? Oh yeah, there he is. Rolled up out of the way here. Switch to the 15 millimeter on these. 15 millimeter. Because the heads of these aren't anywhere big, neck big enough. All right, lock tight on that. Get us started. All right. There we go. Now it's time to try to line up these holes. All right, well, I think the camera shut off, unfortunately. But I got all the bolts and the brackets, Loctited on them. I don't know how much you missed. Loctited, those tightened up. I had put the, the drawbar in temporarily uh, with the nuts in it, just so that uh, it would pull these together to the right position before I tightened them. And those were 17 millimeter, but that was the new bolts. This is uh, the ones that came with the kit, and the ones that were in the car originally were all 15. So, not that that matters much to you, but. I said I put a little blue Loctite on these. <sighs> the tough one to get is the one in the top. Here, but it's I can get to it. Close with all the crap I'm knocking off this dang thing. I'm getting like one click, but she's tight. All right. Did I get that guy? All right, I'm gonna do the others from outside, so we'll go outside. I forgot, I had a couple of bolts on this other bracket that they loosened up and I was actually surprised that they got loose that is the ex the outboard bracket I just wish this fan wasn't quite so crusty. <sighs> so, whatever you loosen up, don't forget to tighten it back up. <sighs> All right, now we're on the outside again. 
all I got to do under here again is tighten up that last bolt. All right, we're rolling. This is what I got left. Let's see, can I see what I'm doing? All right. I got that one right there. for the other side. <sighs> These feel like really crappy bolts. Hitch is done. I forgot to pick up the harness I was gonna to buy to hook up. I was over to Central Tra or whatever Tractor Supply. So now I got a big mess to clean up. But I guess that's it. She's on. She's done. She's ready to haul. Let's see. I'll get it. All right. And tied so in we're there. back. Handy little cover. Uh, Christmas vacation drum roll. Hey, look at there. Got me a trailer hitch. Now I made this uh, double ball hitch myself. I don't know. I'm probably illegal or something. But what I did, the two inch ball is what I'm going to haul anything heavy with. So I left the, the bolt on the bottom of it and welded it flush on the bottom, ground it flat, welded it around the top. Then I put my inch and seven eighths on. That's just for moving stuff around at the lake property or whatever. But there she is in all her glory. I'm going to bounce up and down on this make sure it doesn't fall off. Hey, I, think, I think she'll be all right. <laughs> I'd hate like hell to have my uh, whole frame on the back of the truck pull out, you know go flying down the road with the trailer in a different direction, but uh, that's all right. So guys, um, I got to clean up all this grit. I don't know if my spare tire actually looks like it has anything. It said you had to relocate your tire, spare tire. It has nothing to do with the spare tire. It doesn't even come close. So I don't know why they told you that. One of the things I do want to do to this beast is, is I want to pull that pumpkin cover off and change the lube, service the rear end, um, check the bearings. I got a little bit of rumble coming out of it. I don't know if it's because the gears are dry or what, but that's something else. I did hit them down and it does look like they would crack. So that's another fun day. I got to jack it way up and pull those screws out. Anyway, now whenever I need to haul something with the van, at least I can do it. And uh, I'm totally happy with how this is mounted. It ain't going nowhere. Even if one bolt breaks, the other one. I don't think I ever tightened that one. I got one I didn't tighten. I'm a bay head, bay head boy. That's a 15 too. Also. I need the extension. Yeah, I knew it. See? Always check. Recheck and double check. You're always better off. Oh, you keep it. Keep it real, as they say. the original bolts, one of the originals that came out, so I have a lot of faith that that's getting strong. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of steel left up in there. The two front bumper bolts probably are doing all the work. That little tail just keeps it from flexing a little bit. Actually, it's going to push up. It ain't going to pull down. 
because of the weight of the trailer, or it's pulling straight back, which is shear force, which is really, really hard to break stuff with shear force. So, I ain't too worried about it. So I said, I'm just pulling a small utility trailer. Okay, well, I guess I've wasted enough time here laying around on the ground in the dirt. So, we will catch you on flip-flop. I might have to get one of these that flips over and comes up higher so this isn't so low to the ground. We'll see how the trailer sits when it's on there. But, all right, next time, take care, God bless. Let me know what you guys want to see. You know, just tell me. I'm willing to, to try to figure out things to do for you. I, uh, I'm going to hook up the harness on this. I'm not sure what the color code is on this. It's plenty long enough, but the rules, the rules, the instructions said that when you use it, you bring it out the hatch window and down. So, let's see what this says. Disconnect the battery before removing tape from the wires. Okay, so anyway, they said to hang it out the, the window like this, out of the hatch. Okay, 10-4, we're out of here.